Hey everybody, so recently I watched the new Thought Slime video about Nick Adams, the Hooters guy, the guy who tweets about Hooters. The video is very good, it's funny, it makes good points, I like it, etc. Uh, but watching it made me confront something uh, in myself and in my work that I've been trying to avoid now for a long time. So one of my first Little Joel videos made a few months ago was about Nick Adams. And in that video, I, I say this. Um, he's not a troll. He's not a, sa a satire account. Again, I have to emphasize, Donald Trump has acknowledged the existence of this man as a real conservative influencer. And the thing is, um, watching Thought Slime's videos, seeing the tweets that Mildred brings up from him, um they made me realize that it was all a lie. Alpha male challenge, go to your local grocery store and purchase the largest bag of M&Ms you can find to destroy the bag of M&Ms you purchased and do not let one pass your lips. Take a photo of your crushed woke M&Ms and post it on social. Make sure you tag Mars. Don't let one M&M pass through your lips. Like it's difficult to do that? That's a joke. Alpha males watch football at Hooters and play 36 holes of golf with the boys. Beta males play nine hours with their wives and go to Chili's for the two for 20 deal. Chili's is part of Nick Adams's, you know, semiotics of masculinity. No, that's a joke. That's a really fucking funny joke. Times it is acceptable for an alpha male to cry the birth of your first child, your first hole in one, the national anthem, any occasion. This guy is one of the funniest men I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And to be clear, I'm not laughing at him. He's making a joke. He's writing hilarious tweets and I'm laughing with him. See, Nick Adams is a conservative. He's authentically pro-Trump. Trump has acknowledged him. That's all true. And that made me believe that the tweets he made aligning with conservatism were necessarily uh, not jokes, that he was taking them seriously. But there's no way, man. There's just no way. I have an IQ of 184 and I will not be shamed for it? There's no way he's serious. You know, it's pretty common on the internet to um, believe that conservatives can't be funny. Um, the truth is that that's, not, that's obviously not true. Conservatives can be funny. They can take the piss. They can enjoy themselves. They're not a different species. And Nick Adams is funny. And I'm 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 sorry, Nick. I'm sorry for I'm sorry for not getting it. I'm sorry for not appreciating your gift. And just because I know that I'm gonna get this comment a few times, I imagine a few of you are gonna say something like, you don't gotta hand it to conservatives. You don't gotta say, you don't gotta say they're good at stuff. Yes, you do though. You do have to. Beta males play nine holes with their wives and go to Chili's for the two for 20 deal? Yes, you have to hand it to them. You gotta. That's that you can't just deny. You can't spend your life living in a hole.